Hey, fellow Mathers, before we get into this episode, we want to share with you how you can get access to free content, professional learning that will keep your students engaged and doing the math that matters. Get ready to go to this link, mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. That's right. Registration is open for the free Math is Figure Outable challenge that's starting May 15th and runs to the 17th at 7 p.m. Central. We're going to have three nights jam-packed with learning and routines that you can take straight to your classroom. In these challenges, we have a great time. We do some math, talk about classroom experiences, give away super cool bonuses and prizes. You won't just walk away with routines that are naturally engaging and encourage your students to think mathematically. You'll also have a chance to win over 6 k worth in prizes, including a few virtual PD sessions for your school. I'll be joined by my wonderful co-host, Kim, and special guest, Jenna Laib. You can register at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge for a fantastic learning experience. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Now on to the show. Hey, fellow mathematicians. Welcome to the podcast where math is figureoutable. I'm Pam Harris. And I'm Kim Montague. And this is a math strat chat episode where we talk about the math problem that I threw out on the Wednesday evening on social media and people from around the world chat about the strategies they use. We love seeing everyone's thinking. So this Wednesday, our math problem was if you're walking a 16 minute mile, how fast are you going? How would you solve this problem? Pause the podcast, solve it however you want. The problem is if you're walking a 16 minute mile, how fast are you going? Solve it and then come on back to hear how we're chatting about it. Nice. All right. So, Kim, I think, I think, I think. I'll think go I'm first. Gonna, you go first. Oh, I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. You go first. Okay. All right. So if we are going one mile in 16 minutes, that is equivalent to going a quarter of a mile in four minutes. And then, so I put that on a ratio table, just so you know, um, okay. 16 to one, four to a quarter. And then I know I can get from four to 60, kind of like I did last week times 15, <laughs> kind of boring. Um, and then that would be a, a quarter of a mile, 15 times. And that is three and three quarters. How and actually, know? well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked because, um, I know 16 quarters, there's my over again, 16 nice. quarters would be four miles. So nice. 15 quarters is 3.75. I like it. I like it a lot. So I was scaling on a ratio table as well, but slightly differently. I was also thinking about getting from 16, the 16 mile up to the 60. So I could mm -hmm. see, uh, yeah. in an hour, mm -hmm. um, and I knew that I could get, get close by doing 16 times three. Okay. So 16 times three is 48. Um, so I would go, if I went 16, no, I'm not saying that right. 16 minute mile. I would also do uh, 48 minutes for minutes three miles. Yep. per three miles. I can yep. say, <laughs> thanks for helping me. Sorry. Do I need time or help Kim? Sorry. Sorry. Time. Sorry, sorry. Okay. It's almost like I need to, um, Label my ratio table better. Okay. Yep, yeah. So okay. then I'm trying to get from that 48 to 60 and I'm aware that 48 to 60 is 12. So how can I get from that original 16 to that 12? Well, I know 12 is three fourths of 16. Oh, nice. So I'm just going to put the three fourths there. And so I had three and three fourths is 3.75 miles per that 60 minutes. So that's three, 3.75 miles per hour. Nice. Hey, like but Kim, it. I have another way to think of it, okay. <clears throat> which maybe I just should have done since I kind of got stuck there with the labels. Well, hang um, on a second, because, because I didn't put any labels on my ratio table either. Oh. And I was getting a little bit stuck on, is it miles? Is it minutes? And so when you said that, it was like a nice reminder to me too, that sometimes we need to like record the context mm, so that nice. we're not living in these like just random numbers being thrown around. So just, I, I appreciate just naked, that. just running yeah. around naked. We don't want to run around <laughs> naked when we can be in context. Every time yeah. I say that, my mom shakes her head. Like, Did you really just say that? Okay. And my boys. We're, we're doing it. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if all my boys would, but definitely, definitely at least one of my boys would shake their head. My daughter would just like, give me that look like, go mom, go mom. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> 
So um, I'm aware that last week's problem was if you're running an eight minute mile, which would be closer to what you do, right? Like you, <laughs> you run. And then if you, we decided when it was running an eight minute mile, we were going seven and a half miles per hour. Yeah. Um, and this one, if we're walking a 16 minute mile, which would be closer to what I do, I could usually go a little faster than that, but yeah, it's been a hot minute since I had knee, yeah. knee surgery. Um, but if I'm walking a 16 minute mile, so an eight minute mile was seven and a half miles per hour. Mm-hmm. If I'm walking, um, twice as slow, half as yeah. fast. How do you say yeah. that? Yeah. Ha- half as fast. So it was oh, eight yeah. minute mile. Now it's a 16 minute mile. Then what's half as fast as 7.5 miles per hour. Yeah. Half of that would be 3.75 miles per hour. Nice. So that would be another way. If we knew, if we knew the results from last week, we could re- yeah. do it for this week. Yeah. yeah cool. Very cool. All, All right, right, y'all. We can't wait to see your math strategy. I wonder if your strategy was like one of ours or something entirely different. Represent your thinking, take a picture of your work or screenshot your phone and then tell the world on social media. And while you're there, check out what other people did. And make sure that you comment on their thinking so we can spread this idea that it's about the thinking, the way you're reasoning, not just And it's fun for people to see you comment, right? Absolutely. All right. Tag Pam on Twitter at P.W. Harris. Did I just say that? (laughs) P.W. Harris on Twitter. (laughs) And on Instagram, (laughs) Pam Harris underscore math. I'm taking over or Facebook, (laughs) Pam Harris, author, (laughs) mathematics education, and use the hashtag math strat chat. And then check out the next Math Strat Chat problem that we'll post sometime around 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. And then come back here to hear how we're thinking about the problem. We love having you as part of the Math is Figureoutable movement. Let's keep spreading the word that math is figureoutable. Thank you for listening and making math more figureoutable. To learn even more, make sure you register for our free challenge at mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. You are not going to want to miss the evenings of May 15th through 17th, starting at 7 p.m. Central. Math teaching, math teaching, go register now. That's mathisfigureoutable.com slash challenge. Join us to make math more and more figure outable. And if you can't join live, register and we'll send you access to the recordings. We'll see you there.